let's go, baby. Good morning. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Definitely want to sit there for some gratitude, thanking the Lord for the blessings that we receive, and thanking Him for another beautiful day. So let's go, people. It's Faith Filled Friday. Hope you guys have an amazing week so far, and really filled with appreciation and gratitude. Because honestly, those two things will really fuel the blessings that we have in each and every one, of, each and every one of us. And and for the last say forty eight hours or so, you know, I've been having some conversations with some friends. And the, the premise of the conversation is helping others to see the light within themselves. And this has been, <laughs> this has been an issue, I don't know, my entire life. Just knowing people and listening to them and really understanding who they are and then seeing them run into a roadblock that's, you know, full of, full of darkness and disappointment and discouragement. And sharing with them how that's the moment that they can choose to grow through, right, or go through. And it really is a battle of good and evil. Every single day, you know, it's a tug of war between good and evil and, you know, light and darkness. And, um, and, and we have to be able to understand that concept. So much so that when we see a friend or family member going through some tough times, Bring the light. Bring the light. It starts with having a conversation, bringing love. See, love can't be denied. If you step into a situation and your intentions are purely of, purely of love, then they can't be denied. If there is an indication that, um, you know, there's, there's darkness within your intention, then guess what? It's going to follow with more darkness. And so even if you have had some serious challenges in your life and you know right, that you know deep down inside that you have another level, then I'm encouraging you to pray about that. Say, you know, Lord, please help me to see past what my past has, has shown me. Really, it, it's, it's, it's that powerful. And then uh, surround yourself with people that also are very bright. And for those who are hearing this message, I, I, I appreciate you listening to this message and sharing this message because this is the part that makes it so hard in life is being different, stepping out and being that light. I was talking to a friend and a friend was telling me how he has a family member who seems to be always searching for, you know, for, for God and for the light and for a better feeling inside. And every time he reaches out to them, they deny even wanting them to come by. And they said that when, when he, when he goes or, or when he, when he calls this person and says, Hey, I want to come by, I want to pick you up. And the person says, no, he said, he just feels so defeated. And so what I invited him to do, I said, well, you know what? Just show up. And he's well, maybe that, that person's going to be upset with me. And I'm like, maybe, maybe that's, that's, that's definitely impossible. But guess what? You'll never know unless you go. Right. So Go and share love, say something encouraging, say something um, uh, positive and full of love. And if that person tells you to leave, then you know you leave, right? But just keep doing it. But what happened is, just like when I was a child and I would go through tough times, there would be a person in my life that would say, Aaron, you can do it. You can do it, Aaron. Just that spark alone, even though I may have not have done it immediately, just that spark alone gave me the power to push through. And once I had that power to push through, I went back and I thanked that person and said, thank you so much for, for encouraging me. See, that's all it takes sometimes. So on this Faith Field Friday, guys, I want us to have that belief that there is something better at the end of the tunnel. There really is. Even if the, the, the light that you see at the end of the tunnel is the size of a, of a pinhead, you know, th because that light is there, just keep moving forward and surround yourself with people that also help you move forward and be the light. Be the light for someone else and let them know that you love them and things will change for them eventually, right? It's not an instant thing, but it's an eventually thing because you continue to pour in love and appreciation for that person. Make sense? All right, guys. Hey, Faith Field Friday. Have an amazing day. Finish this week strong. I love you guys. I'll talk to y'all soon. Peace.